As long as guys, and welcome back to my channel. How you guys are doing? Well, it is Friday today. <laughs> yes, it is Friday. Alhamdulillah, the end of the week, uh, end of a very, very, very long week. I wanted to share something with you today because you all know I was getting some cupboards built. If you follow me, you will know. If you didn't, then God, it has been long awaited. I have had some built in wardrobes made and they have, oh my God, I just feel like a new person. Uh, before that, it is my daughter's birthday and she's been dying to open her presents. So we're just going to go and open the presents and then we'll come back to my cupboards. <laughs> oh, I'm loving your new builds. They are so cute. Open up. You like your new coat? Okay, we are back. She finally opened all the presents because, as you can see, she was just an. How do you stop a seven-year-old? How do you stop a seven-year-old from opening all the presents uh, with the right in front of her face? But anyway, I'm going to show you now my cupboards. Hold your breath, guys, because oh my god, they took my breath away anyway. Here goes. Oh my days, <laughs> they're f from floor to the ceiling and across the whole of my dressing room. They are absolutely beautiful. I'd gone for these long handles because I just thought anything smaller would have probably got lost in the size of these doors really. So we've got a, a double door here, we have a mirror here, excuse the mess in the back. And uh, we have a double door here, and because we have like this wall here, I'm not quite sure why, to be honest. Uh, we had to have a shorter door here. But let me take you through a cupboard tour. It is work in progress because I literally just put everything in, <laughs> so I still have to organise. And they are soft closing. Watch this. Do -do 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 -do. Eventually. Uh, love light, love light. I'm very impressed, very impressed. Okay, this is my closet. Let's start off right at the top first. I've just got some, a little basket there with some material in of clothes that I haven't had stitched just yet. I've got all my tops and my jumpers here. And then at the bottom there, I've got all my trousers, my jeans and whatnot. And then these are all my Asian attire, Shirakamizu's everyday wear. And then I've got some fancy wear. But look at that. Look at that. Uh, that's stuff that needs to go to charity, I think, actually. No, I think it's still stuff that needs to be put away a little. Um, still finding homes and some stuff that's going to go up in my bedroom, uh, which I'm also going to share with you in a little while. I've got this really, really long fancy mirror. Uh, this door has just got a whole load of shelves, which is perfect. Um, I've just put some bags up there, then I've got some shawls and things on that shelf. I've got all my hijabs, my headscarves here. Um, I'm literally, I just kind of plonked everything in and kind of, I'm still going to play around with it. I've only had it a day, so, <laughs> you know. And then this is my daughter's drawer. Uh, up there again, it's just like some stuff, a few extra bits and bobs my camera box, um, my laptop bag and things, so I'm still going through that. These are all my daughters, all three of their, their tops, their dresses and fancy wear, their jumpers and cardies and zippies, and then all their jeans and bottoms and things. But that's literally all of their clothes in this drawer. Um, 
I just, you know what, I, I actually am in awe. I absolutely love it. Here, just another few shelves. We've got all their uniform and then their accessories and jewellery, uh, nightwear and then just their smalls in there. But I just love it. Absolutely love it. So this was my dressing room. That's what it looks like. I still have stuff to get through there and obviously need to organise my dresser and my makeup. But we're going to move into the other room now. Now this is my guest room. And again, we've had the same coloured cupboards, the kind of a lightish grey going around the bed frame. Uh, we just needed extra storage in the house, so we're using that one for... Ooh, oh, that's my jacket I took out today. Uh, using that one for coats and a few bits for my husband. My big thick jumpers up there. Up there is just going to be used for storage. Actually, I actually haven't got very much up there. I think I've got one basket full of my husband's Asian attire, his shamalkamis and his gunduras. And then we've got a shelf his tops and my husband's bottoms <laughs> yes he doesn't have very much but oh just yeah it's gonna have to be a bit gentle with that but i think i might just put a stopper there yeah they're all soft clothing so that's the guest room we also had this little side drawer built um and there's kind of a hole at the side there which the socket because we have a socket behind there so there's a hole there so the wire can go through oh focus the wire can go through and um so we can put a, a table lamp or whatever and then he's built these lovely drawers you know his work is just amazing i have to say i will link his details down below he does kind of travel a bit and go you know, out of Birmingham. He's actually from Coventry, the guy. His name's Ian. He's actually from Coventry, so he does kind of travel a bit and because you can just see his work is immaculate. Immaculate. I love it. I love so those were my cupboards. I'm absolutely, absolutely... I'm blown. I'm blown. And you know what? It's just everything from all over the house. All the coats, all the, you know, all the jumpers and my hijabs, everything that was put under beds and whatnot, it's all, it's all here. It's all in one space and it's just a lovely feeling. A really lovely feeling. But anyway, I have bought a few things to kind of spruce up the guest room and just this room, just kind of give it a, um, just... I don't know, just give it a new lease of life, really, do you understand? With the new covers, I feel that this room is going to be repainted and things anyway. Um, but I just felt it needs uh, a few little things on the wall, maybe. A few little things to kind of, you know, just uh, get a bit of character. But anyway, I bought a few things. I went to the range the other day and I picked up a few things from there. So I'm just going to quickly share them with you. Uh, the first thing I picked up was this duvet cover this is the divante balmore duvet set it's a smocked detail simply elegant comfortable and durable this is in a king and if i'm not mistaken that was 19.99 uh, i'm just going to check in the back for the receipt because i don't want to give you any wrong information and i don't have a receipt so i think it was 19.99 i don't know where it's gone $19.99 but it's just like a pin tuck white sheet um, and just to kind of give it a nice crisp clean kind of feel the other thing I picked up and this this is for this room for the um, dressing room is a clock <laughs> very needed clock every morning every few minutes I'm like okay Google what time is it and um, yeah um, kind of we get a bit late so at least if I've got a clock on the wall, I can see what we're doing and when we're doing it. Uh, this was really cheap, actually. I think this was five ninety nine or something like that, five or six ninety nine. I will see if I can find the prices for uh, for it on the re um, on their site on the site of range, and then I will link it below. I will hopefully remember to link it below anyway. Um, what else? What else? What else? 
just a few little things. The other thing I picked up from the range for the guest room was this lovely cushion. It's just a simple cushion with love in gold written on it. Again, it's that pink, that really blush pink colour and it's in velvet. Um, let's see if we can get it out of the pocket. I don't really want to because until that like moves from it, but yeah, it's kind of really soft, really nice. Again, this is really reasonable. This is $6.99 for a really light, light plush cushion and it really feels really good. It's not like flimsy or anything. It's kind of, you know, it's got that feathery down kind of feel about it. But it's really nice. For $6.99, you can't go wrong. What else? I also picked up this uh, shower curtain, obviously for neither of the rooms. It's for my shower <laughs> because we just needed a new shower curtain. And this has also gone down in the sale. Um, I picked this up for $4.99 and I think it had gone down from something like £9 or something. So, um, and it's a really good, really, really good shower curtain. Um, it's by Aura. It's grey check shower curtain. It's 180 by 180 centimetres. Um, it's 100% polyester. So I'm hoping. Can I can I wash it in the machine? Let's have a look. Um, no, I can't wash it, but I can put it into four, like 40 degree kind of boiled water or something to kind of give it a bit of a peace. Normally what I do to personally is just stick it into the bathtub with some, you know, cleaning products and let it soak a bit. I don't know what else to do. Um, the other thing I picked up from the range, we'll finish off the range, were just a few little personal things. It's a, this is the Beauty Formulas Reviving Gold Eye Gel Patches Enriched with Collagen. Uh, innovative hydro gel patches help your eyes feel revived and uh, refined. Uh, this is this has six pairs in it, so which is pretty good. Um, again, I will link the price of that below because I don't remember it offhand. Just my husband just needed some more deodorant. I think actually I bought this for my daughter. Uh, um, my daughter just needs some more deodorant. We use Mitchum. If anyone doesn't know what Mitchum is, it is a lifesaver. Bear with me. Because they never had it. That's Mitchum. Because they never had it, I picked up that. But then I, uh, yesterday before, I went in to One Stop and picked them from, from there. And the last thing I picked up from the range I had to think then the last thing I picked up from the range was this this is the Royal uh, Lang Nickel sketching made easy and it's basically got ten pieces so you've got your pencils one two three four five six six pencils of they've got like a 3H and a 2B 5B 6B you know the different types of pencils that you can get and then you've got rubber and a sharpener and then you've got uh, a picture that you can kind of learn to sketch and put together and that's an 8 plus and this is just for my daughter Zainab who's 10 who absolutely loves 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 drawing so we got her that and that was it from the range however I did pick up a few things just stuck here just stuck here um, however I did pick up a couple of things from Poundland uh, first up being these frames. Now, obviously, everything's a pound. These are just the two four by six photo frames. Uh, I picked up a larger one, which is the this is the A3 poster frame size, and then I picked up a couple of the eight by ten frames too. They are just pound and frames. How good they are, you can obviously judge for yourself. Um, I've never bought any of their frames or their posters or anything like that before so you know we're going to see how we get on with that now obviously to go in them I also needed to pick up some photos so they had packs of first up I picked up this one which is for the poster one now I'm going for this blush pink and white and grey in this room so I thought that would look quite nice these are peonies I think this is that what they called I'm really not fantastic with the, the names of flowers but I think it's the peonies so it's got that big picture in that's the only one it's got in there and that was a pound um, then I picked up photos for um, prints for the 8x10 
and this has got I think three different ones, three or, no four different ones um, and the ones I'm keeping is the best is yet to come and a couple of these ones because there was another one um, and I think it had a, a cacti or something or a succulent um, but I don't really want any green in here at the moment and then for the smaller frames for the four by six ones I just picked up another pack of four but first makeup obviously has to be done and then we've just got some exos exos we've got a pineapple head and then we've just got a succulent with some pink so I might not use them I might just use the other two we'll see how we get on and we'll see um, what they look like but I do want a, a wall with uh, those on that's it for now I do have a few other things that are eventually going to go in here uh, but I'm going to say that for a different wall because they're big bulky things but uh, and also what I bought on Black Friday in fact, a couple of my items still haven't arrived. But we're waiting patiently. Anyway, guys, and that was it. That was my new cupboards. If, I will link his details below because if you are in the area and you need some built, he's reasonable. He's super friendly. He's a lovely old chap. He's absolutely amazing. Punctual. His work is super tidy and clean. Um, I can't praise him enough. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe. Do all those lovely things. And I'm going to see you so soon. Slam on again. But that's it for now. I do have a few other things which I may put. Oh, sorry. That's it. That's it for now. I do have a few other things that are eventually going to go in here. Uh, but I'm going to say that for a different wall because they're big bulky things. But uh, And also what I bought on Black Friday. In fact, a couple of my items still haven't arrived. But we're waiting patiently. Anyway, guys, and that was it. That was my new cupboards. If, I will link his details below because if you are in the area and you need some built, he's reasonable. He's super friendly. He's a lovely old chap. He's absolutely amazing. Punctual. His work is super tidy and clean. Um... I can't praise him enough. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe. Do all those lovely things. And I'm going to see you so soon. Slow on again.